So to me, the most important books for Lent are these kind of go together, um, The Word Among Us and The Magnificat Lenten Companion. Um, they're, they're good for the daily readings for Mass. They're, those are all in here. And then they have daily reflections. They're short, but they are very profound. They don't take very much time, um, but they really get to the heart of what you should be feeling in regard to the readings from the Mass. The reflections always make a big impression on me when I read them. I love this book. This is such a good book. No Greater Love. Um, this is by Edward Shree, I think is how he says his name. So, <laughs> um, so he, this is a biblical walk through Christ's passion and he gets, he like really deep dives into, um, into the scriptures and um, what actually happened to Christ through, through his passion. And it's just, I was so moved by this book. It was powerful. I learned things about the history um, that I didn't know before. Um, I always knew the story, but I didn't, I never knew deep, deep down underneath it all, um, things that the Lord was telling us um, through the scripture. And um, it's just, it's such a moving, powerful story. Everybody knows, but especially when you know all the details and the historical background and all that. So I really appreciate this book and I think everyone should read it. So this one, Stand Faithfully Lenten Journal. This was put out by um, the sisters of Mary, Mother of the Eucharist. They put out Advent and Lenten journals um, every year and their things are just amazing. I use, I use them every year. So basically, it do, doesn't take a lot of time, but it, it gives you um, a Bible passage to read, and then it asks you questions. So you're supposed to reflect on what you read and ponder what you read and answer the questions. And it really just kind of helps you um, to be introspective and think about, um, I mean, what Lent is really about and um, kind of think about what you need to improve upon in your own life and in your own heart. and um, so I think that this is a great way to practice, you know, what you're what you're learning and what you're reading, um, and then you can hold on to it and look at it the next year and see if you how far you've come. And then it also helps you to really learn what each Bible passage really means. Wilfred Stinnison, um, I hope I'm saying that name right, um, is just a great author in general. Everybody loves this author. Everybody loves every book that um, that he's put, he puts out. It's not a long read, but um, everything he writes is very, um, very. I feel like very profound and really makes you think. And so it's not it's not an overwhelming, overpowering read, but it, you get a lot out of this small book. And it was a while ago I read it, but I do remember feeling very moved by this book.